हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गो नो सी अ प्रॉब्लम दिस वन मैक्सिमम असेंडिंग सब एरे सम नाउ कंपनी टैक्स एंड स्टाफ यू विल फाइंड इट ऑन वेबसाइट बट दिस सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन एन एरे ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजियर नर्म्स रिटर्न दी मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल सम ऑफ एन असेंडिंग सब एरे इन नर्म्स इट मैट गिव यू अ फील ऑफ मैक्सिमम सब एरे सम बट इट इज नॉट एक्जैक्टली सेम अगेन प्लीज डोंट गो एंड जम्प इन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई कडिंग आई नो यू लव कडिंग बट फर्स्टली इट इज ओनली पॉजिटिव इंटीजियर्स एंड दैट टू द order of how the sub array needs to be chosen is it should be ascending ascending is simply increasing sub array that's what they have mentioned it should be a increasing sub array now i they have mentioned what a sub array is so very simple brute force approach would have mentioned that go and try find all the n square sub arrays and for each sub array take o of n time to find if it is increasing or not if yes then take the sum for it now obviously i can optimize this by saying that uh, i will try to find all the n square sub arrays and while i am checking increasing i will also maintain the sum thus i can optimize this next how i can optimize this more as uh, okay rather than when i am trying to find all the n square sub arrays again when you know that you find all the n square sub arrays so how you do okay you keep your i here and j here then next time uh, your i remains here j you try for this so this is one such sub array and then iterating on this entire sub array and checking if it is increasing or not that is the o of n extrapolation which i was taking rather i am saying that okay if this is okay if this is you know okay a good sub array according to the problem then simply move the j pointer ahead which means you are only moving one point thus take the impact of this only which means just add in your existing sum again okay, whatever sum this gave this gave whatever sum this gave just add the new incoming element like this one if the condition between these two satisfies so which means ultimately while generating the sub arrays you are also you know trying to get the corresponding sum and also checking the validation which means the condition of ascending so this can actually make us o of n square which ultimately says generate all the corresponding sub arrays and parallelly also check it that uh, uh, if it is increasing or not and also parallelly take the sum as well now um, you know again if you want the code for it we will attach it in the uh, like on the website for you to get reference but again it's a very standard brute force optimization approach so i'm not uh, putting it here but how can i optimize it much more further beyond o of n square although this is easy why it is easy because you know that constraints are pretty low but still we can optimize it let's see how do exactly what they are mentioning we have this specific input array we want that okay i can take this specific current sum okay as you can see i am let's say here i can increase my sum i will add this also because it is this i it is larger like this element is larger than this one same way i can increase here also but when i go here oh i should reset back and then again i should start increasing so this is what i got the feel that i will maintain a simple thing current sum my current sum my current sum let's say cs current sum initially obviously one element is always you know its own sub array so one element will always be there and then i will maximize by taking maximum sum in the very beginning maximum sum is let's say also the current sum then i go on to next element i will check is it more yes it is oh which means add in the current sum it will become 30 okay then again maximize your maximum sum it will become 30 30 then go on next i it is again more than the previous element so it is again a increasing portion which is coming up which is i nums of i is more than nums of i minus 1 which means again this increasing pattern is continued add a 30 again it will become a 60 maximize your maximum sum 60 now you go to next element i oh now it is small if it is small i have to start fresh which means current sum will start fresh 5 again you have to maximize the maximum sum 5 is less than 60 so maximum sum remains 60 then again go on forward i is here it is more than the previous element again maximize it which means add it but again maximum sum will still remain 60 then you go ahead 50 is here previous uh, your again it is increasing so Just simply add it. Add fifty in the fifteen. It will become sixty-five. Maximize it. It will become sixty-five. Answer sixty-five. So that's how you simply have to do it. Maintain a current sum. 
keep on increasing it as you can do it as you encounter smaller element just you know refresh it and put the new value here and then start afresh again same way here i will maintain the currents and currents and currents and currents and currents okay my currents will take everything here also increase increase okay just stop here then here okay stop here then here oh stop here then here okay increasing increasing yeah this is so obviously this is the corresponding maximum answer cool let's see the code is exactly as what i showed again if you want the code for uh, you know n square approach also we will add that as an article uh, here and also link that in description cool now this approach simply says maintain the maximum sum as the first element current sum as the first element and then go on to every index starting from one up till the very end and check if the num suffice is more than previous element which means i can simply add the current element in my current sum but if not then refresh it which as in start fresh which means current sum will start fresh with the current element as you can see it's a simple assignment it's not an addition so i started a fresh and also making sure that at every step you're maximizing your maximum sum ultimately return the maximum sum here the time needed will be o of n and space will be o of one because you are using only two variables cool i hope you guys got it again you can check out the notes here and also make sure if you are weak in any topic let's say array is weak for you then go and make sure to practice the practice problems and that will help you again this is structured in order so you, have to, you don't have to worry about okay you are not you know weak in arrays or something no worries just come here and try to solve it you will get the answers bye bye take care